Do you feel like you are lukewarm in your relationship with God? Maybe you feel like you're not exactly living fully for Him like you could be. Maybe you're going to church on Sundays, but you're not living like a Christian the rest of the week. It's okay if you feel this way. You are not alone. I used to feel that way too. And if you want to get your fire back for Jesus, I've got you. I'm going to give you 10 realistic, life-changing habits and tips that you can apply to your everyday life to allow you to reach your full potential in God and stop being lukewarm. Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about how to stop being lukewarm and get on fire for God. I am truly making this video because this is something that I needed to hear once upon a time in my life and so I know that it is going to be helpful to those of you who truly want to start living your life fully on fire for God. And so if you feel like maybe Maybe you've wandered away from the Lord and you want to get back on track for him. This is the video for you. And so the first of 10 different habits and tips I'm going to give you to be able to grow closer to God and stop being lukewarm is that you need to recommit your life to him. If you are feeling lukewarm in your walk with God, chances are you've wandered away from a lot of the principles and things that you once had when you were truly following God and on fire for him. And so in order to recommit your life to God, you need to be able to say, God, I'm in need of a savior. I'm coming back to you. I'm running back to you. I'm leaving my old life behind and I want to be fully on fire for you. And the most incredible thing about God and his love for you is that he is waiting for you to say that. He's waiting for you to express that and run it back to him because he's waiting for you like this. He is waiting for you with open arms. He wants you to run back to him. God longs for his children to be close to him. So he's not going to push you away because you've done too many bad things and you've wandered too far away. No. God God is ready to welcome you home with open arms and all you have to do is turn around from the life you're living and run towards him. The second thing that you can do in order to stop being lukewarm and grow closer to God in your relationship with him is to start each day off and say, God, how can I glorify you today? Glorifying God should be your number one goal and number one priority when you are on fire for him. And one amazing way to glorify God is through sharing your faith. Sharing your faith is so important because it saved you and it will save other people. So you need to express the goodness that you have found in God. And one amazing way to do that is through what you're wearing. In case you're wondering where the super cute shirt I'm wearing is from, it is from the sponsor of today's video, Caruso. Caruso is an awesome Christian clothing brand that I'm super excited to partner with because we both have the same mission, expanding the kingdom of God. And I love being able to wear clothing that helps me share my faith with the world around me. They actually sent me a bunch of different new shirts to wear and accessories that I'm super excited to use. For example, this tumbler, literally something as small as a tumbler you can take with you in your day-to-day -day life and people who have maybe never read the Bible before can read your cup and hear the Bible for the first time and maybe it'll spark a conversation. Caruso is known for their conversational designs that help Christians share their faith with the world around them. They have been in business for over 35 years making Christian apparel. 78% of Christians have actually never shared their faith before and Caruso's mission is to help decrease that percentage by giving people something that they can wear in their everyday life to open up conversations about Jesus and help people see and hear the gospel. Something that I love about Caruso is that their mission isn't just to build their own kingdom. Their mission is to build up the kingdom of God and something I love is that they are truly stewards of God's money, they have donated millions of dollars to local and national organizations that promote the furthering of the kingdom of God in Christian ministry. And that is so awesome to see a brand that truly puts their money where their mouth is and they are wanting to just have the kingdom of God expand. And they're doing that with their own brand, but they're also helping in many other ways to expand the kingdom of God. So you guys definitely go check out their website. It's linked in the description below and it's right here on the screen. You guys will truly want to go check out their stuff because it's super cute it makes a great gift for Christmas and you truly will absolutely love their clothes I know it because I do and I love being able to wear things that glorify God in my day-to-day -day walk the third habit that you need to put in place in your life to stop being lukewarm and truly get on fire for God is hating your sin you need to hate your sin because you cannot love your sin and love God at the same time so if you want to be on fire for God and you want 
to love God, you need to literally flee from your sin, run from your sin, crucify your sin. It is dead, gone, and buried. You want nothing to do with that anymore because you're truly over here living for God and your sin is dragging you down. There may be things, there may be people, there may be places that used to be fun for you to go and maybe would still be fun for you to go to or to do. But you guys, you will never be truly satisfied doing those things because they are leading you farther away from God and we're trying to be over here being on fire for God. So when you want to be on fire for God, this was your lukewarm lifestyle. Leave it in the past. Maybe it was fun. Maybe it was pleasing, but it's not sustainable. It's not satisfying. And most importantly, it is leading you away from God. So you should want nothing to do with it anymore. Leave it behind. Don't let yourself be tempted to go back to your old ways, but commit to fully running full force ahead towards the Lord. The fourth thing that you can do in order to stop being lukewarm and grow closer in your relationship with God is read your Bible. You guys, read the word of God. You wanna get to know God more, you gotta read his words. So open up your Bible. Maybe it's just 10 minutes a day. Maybe it's just a couple verses. Maybe it's just a chapter. I don't know what it looks like for you, but get in the word every single day. Make yourself disciplined to have that time with God to say, God, I wanna be closer to you. I wanna seek your face. So I'm gonna open up the book that you have given me with your words in it so that I can get to know you more. Reading the Bible will change you, it will change who you are, and it will change who God is to you because God is the same always, but maybe you don't know him. So once you open up the word, you will get to know him and it will open up your eyes to say, oh my goodness, the God I serve is greater than anything I could ever imagine. Wow, I'm gonna have that reverence. I'm gonna open up the word of God because I gotta hear what my God has to say to me today. Open up the word, guys. The fifth thing that you can do to stop being lukewarm in your relationship with God and truly get on fire for him is be disciplined. Be disciplined and commit to living your life fully for him. This is not just some willy-nilly little thing that we do on a daily basis just for fun as Christians. No, being disciplined looks like leaving your past behind, leaving your sin behind, prioritizing God, cutting out the toxic friendships and relationships. Discipline yourself in godliness in such a way that when you have a little temptation over here, you're not going to quickly go back to that thing. You're disciplined and steadfast in your relationship with God. So you know that you need to stay right where you're at because going back to your past will truly lead to your demise. And you're trying to be over here on fire for God. So discipline yourself, crucify your flesh, flee from your sin. Because once you get a routine, once you're disciplined, once you fully learn how to trust in God, it will be so much easier to go about your life following God because you've disciplined yourself in such a way where you know that your sin and your past is truly deadly. The seventh thing that you can can do to stop being lukewarm and glorify God in your day-to-day -day life is prioritize prayer. We have a 24-7, 365 day, seven day a week lifeline. The God and creator of this universe and of you and of me, why do we not use it more? I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've been sitting there worrying about a situation and I have not even prayed about it yet. That should be the first thing we do. The first thing, anytime we feel thankful, the first time we feel afraid, absolutely anywhere, anytime you can pray and talk to God, prayer changes everything. Prayer changes you prayer changes others, prayer changes your situation, because no longer are you depending on yourself to worry about, control, take over these things, but you are surrendering to God, you're communicating with God, and you are allowing him to be in the driver's seat of your life. Prayer is so powerful. Do not let the devil lie to you and tell you that prayer does not do anything, it doesn't mean anything. Prayer is the most powerful weapon that you have, use it. It's free at your disposal. Anytime, use prayer. Prayer is a weapon prayer is powerful prayer is always something that you need to be doing and having in your day-to-day -day life because it will truly transform who you are and how you live and it will definitely help you stop being lukewarm in your faith because you will begin to see God's power and continually want to be on fire for him the eighth thing that you can do to stop being lukewarm in your relationship with God and grow closer to him is let go of control I cannot tell you
lie, you guys, how many times I have tried to be in control and ended up getting hurt so badly because I wanted to do things my way and God had a better way. I cannot stress it enough. Open up your hands, surrender your situation, surrender that relationship, surrender that lifestyle, whatever it is that you are holding so tightly onto, let go and give it to God. Because once you begin to follow his path and understand the plans he has for you, you're going to know, I don't want to drive this bus anymore because I know God is a far better driver than me and his plans and the destination is way better when we're going on God's time and we're going on God's plan. I don't want to be in my control anymore. It's so much easier said than done. And believe me, I am not perfect at it by any means. There are many times where I say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to hold on to it over here. And God's like, are you sure? <laughs> You really want to do that and ultimately and eventually I end up giving it over to him anyway but what how much easier would it have been if I did that in the first place I would have saved myself so much pain and so much heartache because I surrendered everything over to God and let him be in control God in control is greater than anything that you can make over here on your own little pathetic brain power okay I don't say that to hurt you but you need to know God is far greater he's got amazing plans for you don't try to do it on your own he's an amazing artist and author way better than anything that you could do on your own accord so give it over to God and give him control. The ninth thing that you can do in order to stop being lukewarm and grow closer to God is surround yourself with godly community. And that also means cut out the people and the things in your life that are causing you to sin. There are going to be people that you need to remove from your life, not because they're bad people, not because you hate them or you judge them, but simply because they are not good for you in your relationship with God. This is the grading curve that you can have, okay? If it's a thing, if it is a person, if it is a place that leads you farther from God, get as far away from it as you possibly can because it is ultimately not worth it. It is not worth losing that to have whatever this awesome thing is in the world. Get rid of it. It is not worth it and it is such a serious thing if it's causing you to be away from God leave it behind seek godly community get plugged into your church when you pray and seek God for community he will provide it for you because we're not meant to do this life alone so get involved in the community group get involved in a small group maybe you serve on your worship team surround yourself with the body of Christ because it will not only build you up you have a special role to play in the body of Christ as well and we are not meant to do this life alone or apart from God's people you are God's person and you need to be with his people so get plugged in get involved don't stray away from church you belong in the body of Christ and you need to go to church because it doesn't save you, but it makes you better and you make it better. The 10th thing that you need to do in order to grow closer to God and stop being lukewarm is live each day like it's your last. Ultimately, we don't know how long we're going to be on this earth for, but it is so important to prioritize your relationship with God and understand that we are all living on borrowed time. Ask yourself, if you were to die tomorrow, what should you be doing today for the kingdom of God and for your relationship? with him and for the world around you. That will ultimately alter your perspective so massively because you will begin to realize how precious your relationship with God is and how meaningless the things of this world are. Commit today to leaving your lukewarm lifestyle behind. Live each and every day of the rest of your life for Jesus and you will never want to look back to your old life. Commit to that today, you guys. I pray that this video impacted you so much. Do not forget to go check out Caruso. A huge thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. The link is down in the description and it is also right here. And guys, I love each of you so much much and I'm so thankful that you watched this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment and I will see you guys next time. Bye!